Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we are going to learn how to set up webhook inside MailChimp. So as we all know, MailChimp is an all-in-one marketing platform that helps businesses manage their email marketing campaigns, create landing pages, build websites and much more. So we are going to learn step by step how can we set up a connection between MailChimp and Pabli Connect to send the response of MailChimp towards any other application automatically with the help of webhook. So webhook acts as a bridge to connect applications and it helps to deliver the data to other applications when a specific event happens. Okay, so here I'm going to set up a connection between my MailChimp account and Pabli Connect as I want that whenever a subscriber will be created inside MailChimp, then automatically the data should be sent to any other application such as Google Sheets, WhatsApp or email. Now let's suppose you are using MailChimp as an email marketing platform and you want that whenever a specific event happens inside MailChimp, then you want to automatically send the data towards any other application. For example, let's suppose you want that whenever a subscriber will be added in MailChimp by submitting the form, then you want to send the response of that form towards Google Sheets to create a record of a subscribers and suppose you also want to send an email notification to the subscriber that you have received their response. For that first of all you have to set up a connection between MailChimp and Pabli Connect as trigger and that we are going to do with the help of webhook. Okay so let's start creating the workflow step by step. On my screen you can see that there are two windows trigger and action. So trigger and actions are the two main concepts or the building blocks of the entire automation of Pabli Connect where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is the response towards our trigger. So whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that same command. Therefore, we can have only one trigger in any workflow but we can have multiple actions as we want. Now, because we want to take MailChimp in our trigger, let's suppose we are going to take Google Sheets in our action and our objective is that whenever a subscriber will be created inside MailChimp, then automatically a record should be created in Google Sheets. That means the response of that subscriber should be added in Google Sheets. So here we can clearly see that action is following what the trigger commands because when the trigger happens that means when the subscriber is added in MailChimp then only the record is created in Google Sheets otherwise not. So after understanding the concept of trigger in action let's start creating the workflow step by step. So after understanding this concept of trigger in action let me tell you that how we can set up a connection between MailChimp and Pabli Connect with the help of webhook in trigger. So for that we will move towards our trigger step and in our trigger application we have to select MailChimp. So let's select that. Now we have to select the trigger event. So trigger event is the event on the happening of which the workflow is going to trigger or start. So here we can see multiple events, new subscriber, new unsubscriber, new campaign, cleaned emails, email address change, profile update. So on the happening of whichever event you want to run this workflow, you can select that specific event over here. Let's suppose I'm going to select new subscriber as my trigger event. I want that whenever a subscriber will be created in MailChimp, then I want to receive the response and I want to send that response to any other application. So for that, when we have selected the trigger event, we can see that a webhook URL is provided to us. So this is a unique URL which is going to act as a bridge for setting up this connection and for sending the data from MailChimp towards Pabli Connect. So as soon as the subscriber will be created, the response of that subscriber will be captured over here in Pabli Connect with the help of this webhook URL. And how we are going to set up this connection? For that, we can see that we have received some instructions. So we have to follow these instructions step by step very carefully. It is given over here that we have to first of all log into our MailChimp account and then we have to go towards audience section. And then we have to set up webhook there. So I'm going to take you towards my MailChimp account. We will go towards audience section. Under audience, we can see the option of manage audience over here. So let's select that. In this, we can find the option of settings. So we have selected that. Now, after coming on settings, we have to scroll down until we will find the option of webhooks because we want to set up this connection with webhooks. So we will select webhook option. And here we can see that multiple webhooks are given over here which were created for different purposes. Now to create a new webhook we have to click on this create new webhook button and now here we have to enter some details. First of all we have to enter the callback URL. So callback URL is this webhook URL we will simply copy this and we'll go back and paste it over here. Now after doing this we have to select the updates that what type of updates should be sent. So I want that whenever the subscriber will be created I want to receive the response in Pabli Connect. So I want the updates related to subscribers. So all other events I'm going to unselect okay and we will select only the subscriber so in the same manner you have to select your specific event if you have selected unsubscribers as your trigger event then you have to select unsubscribers option over here so whenever there will be a new unsubscribe then you will receive the response now here we have to select only send updates when a change is made. So here I want that when a change will be made by a subscriber, by an account admin and via the API, then I want to receive the updates. So I will select via the API option as well and now we are going to click on save. 
okay so you also have to follow the same steps and as we have done that here we can see that our webhook is added so let's go back towards public connect and we can see that we have also received a test response over here this means that the connection is successful so now we are going to click on recapture webhook response to capture a real response let's click on yes and it is showing waiting for webhook response this means that now we have to do a test submission by creating a subscriber so that the response of that new subscriber could be captured over here in public connect and how we are going to do that with the help of form submission so this is the form which I've already created for generating the leads and the subscribers in my MailChimp account. Okay, so whenever this form will be submitted by a lead, then I'm going to receive the response in Pabli Connect, and the person who has submitted this form will be added as a subscriber in MailChimp. So I'm going to do a test submission by submitting this form with all the dummy details because I'm doing a test submission. So let's start with the name. Let's say the name of the person who is submitting this form is Demo. The last name is User Demo User. I'm going to enter a random email. Demo user 2890 at the rate publitudes.com and here I'm going to enter the phone number. This is a random phone number. We have to enter it along with the plus sign. Now we'll click on subscribe and here the form is submitted. So let's go back towards Public Connect and we will see whether we have received the response or not. Let's wait for a few seconds. And yes, here we have received the response. In the response, we have received all the details. This is the type that means the subscriber is created. This is the date and the time at which the form is being submitted. Here is the data web ID. Here is the mobile number of the person who has submitted this form. Here's the first name, last name and the email address. This means that our connection is absolutely successful. So now whenever a new subscriber will be created by submitting our form, then we we are going to receive the response of that subscriber here in Pabli Connect. And then further after setting up this connection, wherever we want to send this response, we can add that application over here in our action step. For example, if I want to add the response in Google Sheets, then I can add Google Sheets over here in my action application. If I, if I want to send email notification to the person who has submitted this form, then I can add Gmail over here in my action application. And even I can get the WhatsApp notifications by adding WhatsApp Cloud API in my action application. So you can add any application in which you want to send the response of MailChimp. In this way, you have to set up the connection between between MailChimp and Public Connect with the help of Webhook and these were very easy steps as you can see. You just have to use the Webhook URL and with that you have to set up this connection. Now we will go back towards MailChimp, we will go towards audience section and when I am going to go towards all contacts, here I can see that my subscriber is already added, okay. So whenever the subscriber will be added in MailChimp, automatically we are going to receive the response here in Public Connect. Once you will complete this integration, you will not have to do anything manually. As soon as a new subscriber will be created inside MailChimp, then automatically the response will be sent to any other application which you are going to connect over here. So these were the steps which you have to follow in order to set up the connection between MailChimp and Public Connect with the help of Webhook. And I hope this video was helpful for you. Thank you for watching. Not only these applications, but you can integrate multiple such applications without any coding or programming skills with the help of Public Connect. Now, if you have any doubt, you can reach out to us at support at the Pabli.com. If you want to ask any query, you can reach out to us at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any pricing related issue, you can reach out to the website given over here. Now, if you find this video helpful, do not forget to share it with your friends. And also, please like our video and subscribe our channel for more such amazing automations.